Hello. Thank you for joining me here. Today I will be briefly talking about another important post-colonial studies concept, and it's the concept called othering. Othering was introduced as a post-colonial theoretical concept by Guy Three Spivak in one of her works, even though it has an older lineage in Western philosophy. Uh, according to Spivak, othering are all those discursive material and legal and other practices enacted by the colonizers in order to create the natives as this category of the other, which goes on to then suggest that this othering with a small o is absolutely necessary for the colonizers and the colonial system to stabilize itself because by defining the natives as these others who are then categorized and assigned certain attributes to the colonial masters themselves, the colonial nations themselves then can stabilize their own selves because it can be then compared to this other who has been subjugated and controlled. So for quite a few post-colonial scholars, then the othering is not just a necessary thing that the colonizers must do to control the native populations. It also in a way constitutes the self of Europe because the Europeans, the colonizers need this other, a group, individuals, nations, spaces, to solidify their own idea of self. And that's why this concept in Spivak is also deeply connected to uh, the concept of worlding, which uh, I created a video on that as well. I'll post a link uh, in the description. But in that, what we learned was that worlding, one stage of worlding is a process in which the space of the colonized, the colonized space is recorded, reported on, assigned attributes to, right? So while it creates a sense of that space for the natives themselves, the same kind of collection of data, reporting, anthropological works, official reporting also then solidifies for the chain of command in the colonial structure, the, the sense of this space that is either an exotic other or just an inferior other, and that that other is absolutely necessary for the Europe to consolidate its own self, whatever it may be, this belief in superiority and other, and other such things. So othering, um, has been used in so many different ways, not just in the colonial context. Uh, we also employ it in everyday work situations, in our dealings with our others, or in strategies that people use in group groups to other a certain person by assigning them certain negative at attributes or by othering whole groups of people by stereotyping them or by assigning them certain negative traits. In all these cases, the purpose is always to reduce someone either to a caricature or to a stereotype, to assign them certain negative attributes. And all of that then in a psychological sense points back to solidifying the self, collective or individual of the person who discursively, materially, legally, or in other forms is othering a group or an individual. Now, please bear in mind that this term othering also has its roots in psychoanalysis and in the Lacanian discussion of the big other and the small other, right? So in the colonial situation, the big other becomes the colonizer and his or her systems themselves instead of one's own parents or one's own uh, people one looks up to. And that was the divide that Fanon had talked about, right, in black skin, white masks, that in, that in, in resolving the Oedipus complex, the native, the colonized native doesn't see his own father, but the law of the father is 
the European father, right? Hence black uh, skin, white masks. So to sum up, othering is a practice theorized by Gayatri Spivak within the post-colonial context involved discursive practices, legal practices, and others in which the natives, the colonized natives, were assigned negative attributes, certain qualities, or certain collectively reduced identities so that they could be seen a certain way and hence controlled a certain way, and that this entire process of othering deeply was connected to solidifying and stabilizing the Europeans' sense of themselves. That's all today, and I will keep posting these uh, videos. And if you have any questions or anything that you would like me to explain further, please post it in the comments. And if you like whatever is being offered on this channel, please do subscribe. Thank you so much, and see you next time.